What's up guys, welcome back to another one of Dumpling Vlogs. Today's a cheat day, I'm not gonna lie, I'm taking the car. The reason for this is, it's raining, and uh, bye bye! Dosta. <laughs> so yeah, I'm taking the car, kind of a cheat day, but whatever. All right, I just got out of school. <laughs> <laughs> you are number one? I have a test. Oh, you smarty pants. Give us an update on Park Sun because I don't think they heard anything about him. Oh, he went back to Korea. Well, I mean, I knew that. But how is he doing in Korea? Right now, he's getting ready to go back to college. What was it? What was it? Yeah, college. Co I'm not gonna lie, guys, it is kind of cold. I'm really, I'm actually kind of chilly right now. If there was a wind, my ears would probably be hurting. All right, let's see. This way is Yodobashi. I keep on making this mistake. I never know my way around the central exit of Yokohama. So you might be thinking, why are you going to Yodobashi? Well, I'm not exactly buying the SE, which I did get confirmation it's okay from my parents. Um, I can get one. So the next time me and my aunt go together, we're gonna buy it. But I just want to look around in the store, not only to see if the place sells it, maybe just to look around. Maybe they have the DJI Maverick Pro, which I'm really looking forward to. I really want to, I want one of those, you know. Before my phone was getting really bad, I was saving up my money for that thing. But since my phone got pretty bad, I'm, I'm using my money towards my phone instead of the DJI. But I really want a drone. I really want a Mavic Pro. I think it'd be really cool for cinematic cool shots. I literally feel like I'm walking against every single person here. Everybody's walking into me. Oh, here we go. Yodobashi camera, let's go. Here we are. Docomo, iPhone SE. I like it. So small. Goodbye, Yodobashi. Mwah, I love you. Funny thing is, I'm actually going to Yodobashi and Komioka right now, too, so it's not like I'm leaving because I'm coming back. All right, here's the deal, guys. The iPhone SE costs $400, all right? When I go buy the thing, I'm gonna bring $500 because one, not only do I need the phone itself, I need a case for it so I don't destroy it, and I need Gorilla Glass or some screen protector to put on it so I don't scratch it. That's going to be another, what, 50 bucks or so, and that plus the tax of the phone and the tax. I don't even know if $500 will do it. I might have to bring 600 I hope not. It shouldn't be that expensive, but that's the plan. I know we also have points for Yodobashi, so it's going to be cheaper, obviously. And just like that with the power of editing, I am now in Kamioka. Yeah! It takes skill to edit this awesomely. <laughs> Good thing here, I actually know where I'm going. I don't, I'm not like lost. I made it! Yay! That was easy. They've also got the SE in my provider, so. And there's the Apple store in Yokohama, so we have plenty of options to pick this. Imagine sitting down in your chair, just sitting here and watching what are the, I think that's a cuttlefish? Watching that huge 4K screen, that's awesome, man. That's beautiful. That's, that's 4K quality right there, that's awesome. It's like you're really there. They have a baby corner, guys. A baby corner. <laughs> Men's, woman's baby corner. Tag lucky. Ding. If 
if you haven't noticed, I am home now. Pretty tired, too. I wouldn't say those were errands, but they kind of were. My goal was... This is a weird position. My goal was to check to see if my provider, which is Docomo, uh, I know in America it's like T-Mobile, uh, AT&T, Verizon, stuff like that. Well, here it's... It's SoftBank, AU, Docomo, and I'm using Docomo. So I went to their station, and they have the whole lineup of the new iPhones. So that includes the iPhone SE. So yes, you can buy them there, so that's good. But I also, in Yokohama, found a Apple store. We thought they'd only have it in Tokyo, but obviously they had one in Yokohama, which is a plus. So we could also buy the phone there and just switch the SIM card, and that way it would be unlocked for America. But I think I might have to unlock it if it were bought from Docomo, I'm not exactly sure. I got math tutor today, I also had it on Tuesday. Uh, that's two this week, which is kind of rough, but hey, it's what I did before, so it shouldn't be too bad. Hey. I'm back from dinner. What was that? Back from, I say like gangster, yo. I'm back from dinner, yo. Back from dinner, guys. I gotta get ready for tutor now. So, busy life, man. I got a busy life. School, I got tutor. I got tutor and, and school and nap time and dinner. It can be busy at times, but sometimes it's not busy. It's weird how that's the way it is. You know, some days I have like nothing. And then all of a sudden the next day, everything is on that one day. For some reason, even in America, we would be like, not busy, not busy, not busy, not busy, and like on the weekend or, or on one day of the weekend, it would be so busy. Everything is on that one day. This is how it works in America. At home, our house is pretty far from anywhere else because we live on a farm and it takes about 45 minutes to get really anywhere populated. So whenever we go on an outing, we always plan stuff on that outing so we don't have to go again on the same day or the next day. So let's say we go to Walmart, all right? Okay, so we're gonna go to Walmart on Wednesday. That means that I have to go to the bank on Wednesday. I have to do this, I have to do this, 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 and then the day is completely packed and we don't get back to like 10 o'clock and we leave at like 9 in the morning. So I guess that's why it feels like there's always only that one day that's like so jam-packed with stuff. I need to plan more throughout the week so I'm not all packed on Fridays, you know what I mean? I've been standing here talking for a while. I need to get ready. What am I doing? Thanks for listening though. I really appreciate it. Here comes the plane, dude. Ready? Yeah, I'm watching. Oh, that plane just turned his, all, his engines on. What are you doing, Ben? Oh, you're vlogging this? Maybe. Well, don't get me in here. You're not in the shot! <laughs> There's a lot of traffic. What's going on with that? Rush hour. Ah, uh, yeah, I see what you mean. So, what's the science over, um, you know, with the plane and all? Well, the mechanics of the whole engineering process are kind of just centrifugal, I guess. Kind of like the... The biology has to be directly construed very ingeniously into a mathematical interpretation of quantity, you know? Yeah. It's just, you just gotta sound smart. I totally understand. Yes, and stupid people think you're smart. Oh, look, there it goes. Oh! That was and dramatic, dude. I was... Love <laughs> what? Are you making fun of me? No. That's what I thought. Are you really vlogging right now? Yeah. Oh. That's awesome. We should talk about how everyone's evening was. Oh, 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 look at this, look at this. Here we go. We're going to make America great for all of our people. Amen. Wow, that was the perfect shot. That was. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Don't vlog this. I said don't vlog this. Thank you. Have an amazing day. Well, I'm done. Alright, so obviously I had a tutor today, like I said. And as you guys may know, that really throws my time. It's midnight. I need to get to bed. Tomorrow should be a very exciting day. And the reason is... Well, watch tomorrow and you'll find out. Leaving you on a little cliffhanger. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate all that you guys do and all your support. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. It would mean a lot. Check out yesterday's vlog and I'll see you all later. I don't know why this idea came up, but I just wanted to make a little how-to of uh, how I vlog and what I do.